going to talk about the functionality of some newly added controllers, showcasing the way they behave within Future Dex DJ Pro. So far, our software offers native support to 52 controllers. We've just changed that number to 55, as we've finished mapping 3 new Hercules controllers. The DJ Control Instinct, which I'm not going to cover in this video, the DJ Control Air, and the DJ Console Remix 2. Let's start off with the DJ Control Air. As with all of our controllers, you have basic transport functions that let you navigate through your browser and playlists. You can load tracks to decks A and B. There are also buttons to help you monitor your deck. Once you've loaded and queued your songs, hit the play button and don't forget to move the crossfader to the side that's playing. As always, there are the ever-present EQ knobs for lows, mids and highs, and the sync button, of course. This controller comes with some very useful flashing BPM lights at the top of the mixer section that mark the beats of the bar and allow you to line up simple dance music by beat and bar. You can slow down or speed up your track by using the pitch slider. If you want to fine-tune the speed of the track, pitch pen buttons are at your disposal. The jog wheels can achieve the same effect when they're not in vinyl mode, otherwise you'll end up scratching instead of adjusting the speed. Both controllers have four pads that control the sampler, the loops and effects. The Remix 2 also has a cue section which transforms the four pads into hot cues. There is also an encoder which has different roles depending on what mode is selected. We'll get to that in a moment. On the air, the loop mode is straightforward. Pad number 1 creates a 1-bit loop, pad number 2 a 2-bit loop, pad number 3 a 4-bit loop, and pad number 4 makes an 8-bit loop. There are four on-off effects when switching to effect mode, flanger, echo, beat wav, and reverb. The most interesting and unique feature about this controller is this infrared sensor located at the top of the controller, which works by moving your hand closer or further away from the sensor, thus allowing for a rather precise dry-wet effect control. Other features include the magic button, which you can press if you want the software to enter automix mode, automatically managing and mixing your playlists. You also have a record button. Let's move on to the Remix 2 controller and see what makes it different from the air. You get gain knobs for both decks, a Q mix knob, a master gain knob, kill switches for lows, mids and highs, a microphone on-off button and volume knob. There are also line-in buttons if you want to connect turntables or CDJs. Now let's go back to the pad section. When in loop mode, pad number 1 controls the in and out points of the loop. As you can see, if I press the pad once, it flashes, letting me know that I need to press it one more time for the loop to be closed. On the second pad you've got your loop exit. The encoder lets you adjust the size of your loop. 
Pads 3 and 4 help you move between the previous and next loop. Pressing the mode button one more time, we move to the effects section. Here you will find flanger, echo, bitwav and the reverb effects, as well as the low pass, high pass filter mapped to the encoder. Sample mode offers control over the 8 sample banks within FutureDex DJ Pro. The encoders on either side of the controller adjust the volume for the samples. The encoder from deck A controls the volume for the first 4 samples and the one from deck B alters the volume for samples 5 to 8. The final mode, named Q, is quite straightforward, offering 4 hot Q points for each deck while the encoder is a pitch scaling knob allowing for a much better control over the musical effect, note effect, in which effects. a track is sung and the possibility of taking and your first step towards and creating effects. your very own and harmonic mix. And effects. And effects. And effects. Today we're going to talk the sampler, the loops and, and effects. Today we're going to talk about the, the sampler, the loops and, and effects. And effects. And, effect, and effects. Don't forget that you can easily plug in any type of microphone to record new samples or voice tracks that you can then load in one of the decks or one of the sample banks. Just plug the mic, turn it on, record whatever you want, load the recorded track or sample and use effects to integrate it within your mix. It's been a pleasure talking about these new controllers and showing what you can do with them in future decks DJ Pro. Don't forget that all our contact links are down below. Have a great day and stay tuned for more videos. Chris signing out. Goodbye.